Well, he's known for his music, but a Toronto area rapper is now trending over his deteriorating health. The 23-year-old MMVA-nominated rapper known as John River is opening up on Twitter about a terrifying medical experience and how he felt dismissed by GTA doctors over what he believes is a serious medical condition. In a series of Twitter posts, the rapper, whose real name is Matthew Derek Huey, says he went to the ER multiple times last month for chest pains and was repeatedly sent home by doctors who chalked it up to stress and anxiety. After weeks of his symptoms escalating, one doctor finally agreed to a test involving a needle in his spine, suggesting he could have a cerebrospinal fluid leak, fluid escaping from the brain and spinal cord. But the rapper claims doctors haven't been able to get approval to give him treatment for it because his tests keep coming back clean. The symptoms are so bad now, he writes, he spent days sitting in a closet because of intense sensitivity to light. I've fallen through the cracks of our health care system, he tweets. My family and friends have done everything they can, but they can't do any more. One health care consultant who helps patients navigate the system says River's case highlights the common struggles and frustrating situations patients often face, especially in ERs and walk-in clinics, where medical professionals are crunched for time and resources. Do you hear people saying to you, I went to the doctor and they didn't take this symptom seriously or they brushed me off or you know they didn't really listen to what I had to say. Absolutely and that's the problem with effective communication it's the listening piece that isn't there. It really takes a good um, history taking to really know what's going on with the patient and sometimes it can be a, a number of different things. So the doctor may assume that one thing's going on but uh, it could be a multitude of, of different issues. I think it's very important and I think we all need our know our bodies the best and I think that you can have some sense of insistence, not threatening obviously, or you could ask for a second opinion. Most large uh, ER facilities have uh, several doctors. You can also talk to a patient relations person in the hospital if they're having issues or the manager of the unit. Bartley also recommends asking for copies of test results for your own records. And while it may seem counterintuitive, she says, returning to the same ER is sometimes better because they can see the record of escalated symptoms as opposed to starting over. Now, Rivers' family said they weren't ready to speak with the media today, but his assistant tells us that he is at home still dealing with many of those symptoms. And he did put a call out on Twitter asking for the public's help in finding a medical professional who can take his case and help him get the treatment he needs. In Toronto, Janelle Massa, City News.